I would take Amelie to my grave because I think that's such a joyful, comforting thing. I feel like my grave would be a nicer place if I had Amelie there with me. And it's the one DVD that I owned growing up and I watched it so frequently. I just loved her and loved the whole film. So for me, that one. Um, I think for me it's The Tribe, actually, which I think is just a remarkable movie. And um, for a filmmaker who works in the Welsh language, um, it's amazing that, you know, it's a film that, that, that transcends um, language barriers and linguistic borders, if you like. Um, it's brutal, it's visceral, but it's, it's brilliant. Actually, I think it's the tribe again, because for the simple reason is it made such an impression on me. Um, it's a Ukrainian movie, it's great, it's brilliant, and it, and it makes such an impression on me that I don't really want to go back and spoil that first impression. Actually, there are a few films like that, where you kind of watch them and you go, oh my God, this is so startling in the moment that you don't really want to spoil it by, by going back and revisiting. I don't know if it's guilty, but probably Notting Hill, that type is cheesy. Mildly inappropriate these days, maybe. Um, but if it was on TV, I would definitely watch it. Yeah, I don't think mine's guilty, but I sort of feel as if I, I love Billy Elliot because because a bit you know it, it lumps. Even though I'm Welsh and he's from Newcastle or Sunderland, they'll probably kill me up there for making that not making that distinction. But um, yeah, it just reminds me of my kind of upbringing. I'm not a ballet dancer, everybody, before you. But but it's that sort of it, it, it's a really feel good film. Um, but has a, again, has a message. Grease and um, Citizen Kane. I've never seen Harry Potter, but I've never lied about it. <laughs> but I just haven't. <laughs> <laughs>